about. So can you talk about the, the issues related, Dr. Fernandez, the long-term consequences of that maternal mental health, of healthy placement of the child? I mean, what happens to the mother mentally? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, and it's, it's so important to understand that the issue of a bond between a mom a mother and a child, that's, that's the most sacred, that's the most strongest bond I think that, that ever exists. And as Nick said, handing a baby over is an act of love. It, it's the ultimate sacrifice. It's the ultimate act of love. And I think that a mom who chooses another alternative will be haunted and convicted by that choice for the rest of her life giving her the option to allow a child to live and potentially to flourish, right. she will carry that with her and it will, it will essentially grant her an opportunity of closure and fulfillment. So yes, there, there will always be that positive aspect to that choice. And that's what we need to focus on when that's it comes correct. to these to these girls and these women. And I think an important question that needs to be asked is, can we help girls and women get help before they get to the stage of needing safe haven? Absolutely. And I think right there what we come down to is education. Education. Education, education, education. And there are other aspects, which is a social constraint where they feel safe to talk to someone, a, um, a parental relationship that is open and honest and and certainly the realization of potentials to prevent an unwanted pregnancy so i guess birth control and safe sex would fall under that realm of education Abs absolutely okay. absolutely but also education in terms of knowing how important prenatal care is mm -hmm. because the prenatal period is just as important as the perinatal, or in other words, the time when the baby's born and the postnatal period.